Hello, everybody. I'm here with Brada Tat. I'm back. Long time no see because our schedules suck. It doesn't match. I don't think so, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, we're here at Ala Moana, the place I hate, hate most. I hate malls. I don't like them. They're crowded and it's Saturday. It's annoying. But we're going to taste some Japanese sandwiches. And I don't know. I've never been to this place. Me either. And uh, it's at the Lanai in the food court. And if you're wondering, why are you eating twice when you said you only eat out on Fridays? It's because I'm not eating out on the Friday that you're going to see this. <laughs> because it's a holiday and I don't want to go anywhere. So I won't eat anything on Friday and that's my trade-off. And won't be vlogging on that week. So we're going to go to the Lanai. Oh my god. It is so crowded. I don't know. So this is the Lanai. It's the different food court from downstairs. It's their newer food court. Tuna kimchi. This is that tuna salad. I'm gonna try to. I'll try all the basics. You can try whatever. Thank you. Uh, hello. It's me and Brada Tats. I'm Misty, and um, since this is for Brada Tats' is live, I'm Food Fiend on YouTube, if you don't know who I am. And we do um, showcases of local businesses. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> where did we go today? We went to Mana Sandwiches. It's um, located inside, what, the Lanai? Yeah, the Lanai. And you were saying that they were owned by Brad, same owner? That's what I read, that she wanted to make a sandwich, a Japanese type sandwich, because they specialize in Japanese baked goods. So, um, yeah. Okay, so what you got? <laughs> I got, I, I'm not that hungry, so I got their, I found this really interesting. This is the California sandwich. It's kind of almost like a California roll. It's got mayo and imitation crab and avocado. Mm. And then I got, you gotta try the tonkatsu sandwich whenever right. you go right. to a Japanese sando place. So. so, and I got the same thing too, but I got a fruit sando, which has mixed fruits. That looks really good. Um, it has kiwi, pineapple, strawberry, and mandarin. I can't see what you guys are saying. So you guys are too far, so sorry. Um, I probably won't be responding, but tap, tap, tap your screen. Show me some love. Can I do hearts from here? I can. Thank you. <laughs> and then my favorite, I got the egg salad. You can't go wrong with the egg salad. Some people can, though, if they don't season it correctly. I don't know what this one was. I think this was the bacon, I think that onion, was the something. Is that the smoked pit beef? Yeah. So that's what this one is. And then tuna. I wanted the single though. Oh, you he gave you the double. double. Yeah, yeah, so guys, if you're not that hungry, you can get a single. So this is a single or a double. Right. So, um, and for my, uh, I have my camera recording. If you're wondering, what is Brada Tats talking about? He's doing a live TikTok, right? I'm doing a live TikTok. So um, that, that's what he's talking about. He's talking to the live viewers that are typing. So, um, yeah, I guess. That's Cocoa good. time. Yeah, it looks good. Let's see. I don't know what I should start with. I think I'm gonna try the sando. I will try um, the. the tonkatsu. Okay, I'll try the. Okay, I'll try that with you. That way we can give an honest review. Yeah, and it's got these neat packages where you can just open it so your hands don't get dirty. The bread looks really fluffy. Yeah, it's like a Japanese bread. Yeah. Cheers. It smells sweet. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Still crunchy. Mm-hmm. So flavorful. It's not dry on the inside. Yeah, um, you would think it's already pre-made and mm. you would think that it's already um, soggy. And it kind of a little bit is, but it still has a crunch from the panko. Right. And the bread is super soft, so good. The bread is sweet too. Mm. What kind of seasoning do you think they have? I can definitely taste a Japanese style katsu sauce. Mm. That's it. I was like, what is this sauce? I should have got more. This is so 
tiny now that mm. I think about it. Well, I still have plenty. No, it's okay. <laughs> oh, and I got this fresh strawberry milk. But they only filled it this yeah, much. Yeah, I didn't even drink it. That's kind of weird that it's not filled to the top. I think my only thing with the tonkatsu, there's no more. Like, yeah, it's really small. You should fill up the whole bread so every bite has meat. Mm -hmm. That's the only downfall of it. Otherwise, it's real good. So that's the smoked pit beef? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Almost like a pastrami. Yeah. And then I think there's... That's probably the onion right there. Mm -hmm. And there's fresh tomatoes. I don't know what kind of... Um, spread they have oh i think it's a mustard oh i'm glad i didn't get it then but well, you don't like mustard really no <laughs> more for me <laughs> mm. Mm. no <laughs> no it's good but what i thought was mustard I don't taste mustard. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Is it like garlicky? No, not garlicky, not oniony. Just smells it though. Yeah, it does smell. The meat is super tender. You know how some cuts of meat, deli meat like this, is super stringy? And then you have to kind of right. really chew it. Just, off. just falls apart. It's good. It looks really good. Hmm. If you're in Hawaii, I'd get this again. Try it. And it's a good to go mm -hmm. when you're in a rush. Because if they're all pre-made, it's in a nice glass case mm -hmm. and you just pick what sandwich you want and then you're out of there really quick. And they're fresh. Yes. So this is the California Sando. Like I said, just like a California roll in a sushi, but in a sandwich form. So it's got the mayo tossed imitation crab, and the avocado and sliced cucumbers, so. It's like a spa for your mouth, guys. Mm hmm And egg salad. Is there mayo in here? Let's see. There should be. <laughs> I hope there is. Mmm. Not much seasoning, though. It looks like very little mayo, but like the egg yolks are whipped. Real, yeah, mm -hmm. so it's like makes it the part of the wet part mm -hmm. of the sandwich. I like the California one. This is good. Is it? It really reminds me of the sushi. If you're wondering where we're at, we're in my conference room. Because <laughs> he's rich. No. <laughs> I'm just joking. But it's nice and quiet. And we try to find a place in Ala Moana and it was... It was way bad. too noisy. Mm -hmm. You can see some of our older videos too. What did we do? Did we do Samoan food? Or I know we did the the, the oh, lobster yeah. roll. We did the lobster roll and we did the. We went to Dickie's Barbecue. Mm. Yeah, and we, we did went a to bunch. another barbecue place in Hawaii Kai. Yeah, Tex 808. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it's no longer there though. They moved to Moanalua. We have one around here too. Oh, you do? Yeah. And then. Um, we, Max's. Max's of Manila, that was yummy. That was on mine when, yeah. or both of ours, I uh -huh. think, yeah. So this is what they're really known for, these fruit sandwiches right here with cream and sweet bread. It looks really pretty. Like good enough that you don't even want to eat it because it's so pretty, but I'm going to eat it. Oh, I need to be rolling that too. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's really pretty. Yeah. I don't do good B-roll like Brada Tats. <laughs> you want to see the good B-roll? Very, roll yeah, now. he's got good B-roll. He's got a nice, you know why? steady hand. Because I'm calm. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> I drink too much, that's why. It's a joke. <laughs> like, I feel like you kind of have to squish the bottom. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't fall out. Right. Okay, hold on. I need paper towels or something for this. Because I'm a lady. <laughs> I'm a messy person. <laughs> okay, let's try the kiwi first. I don't like kiwis. You don't? I don't like strawberries either. 
So what? I'm gonna eat that second. You know why? Sometimes it tastes so vegetal to me. It doesn't taste sweet. It tastes mm -hmm. more like a vegetable sometimes. So it's I'm got like, pineapple too. Yeah, I don't hiding. like pineapples either. The heck? <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because here in Hawaii, practically every meal they serve you, you go to McDonald's, there's pineapples, a cup of pineapples. You go to a restaurant, there's pineapples. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, I'm over pineapples. Mm -hmm. Cocoa time, guys. Let's eat! Mm. You know what this tastes like? What? Those Japanese cakes that are really light in flavor, they're not overly sweet. Like an angel food cake? Um, not texture wise, but you know when you, get, you go to those Asian, Asian bakeries mm -hmm. and you get their cakes and they're not like American bakeries where they're overly clawingly sweet? This is perfect. So you can eat more than one because <laughs> it's not super sweet. Mm -hmm. They use less sugar. Right. The only thing that makes it difficult is the fruit is so big. So just trying to wrap your mouth around it. And I have a big mouth, but I'm like, damn, man, like, <laughs> this is ah. <laughs> I think it would be cooler and it would look prettier, I if think. If it was sliced, right? Sliced really, uh, like in little out. cubes right. and like mixed in that cream. Right. So it would be like a rainbow color. Right, right. I think that would look pretty And cute easier for you to eat. Look at this. This is like a whole half yeah, of a mandarin right half here. Half an orange. Like, Come on, man. Okay. But I, I, I got it. I got skills. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. The strawberry thing. Finally tasted it. Oh, really? Fresh strawberries? Mm -hmm. Oh, there is. Mm -hmm. So when you get this, it's in the little case but it has the chopped fresh strawberries on the bottom and they don't mm. put the milk until you order it. And that's why I was watching him make it and I got robbed. <laughs> Cause you yeah, didn't I fill know. it all the way up. I don't get it, but it tastes I can, good. I can understand if they put ice in there mm -hmm. just to keep it cooler, then it would make sense. Yeah, there's sense. no ice in it either. There's no ice. Which is fine cause it doesn't water it down. Right. But it's nice and sweet. Right. Creamy. It has heavy cream in it and milk, so if you're lactose intolerant, you might not want to get it. You'll be mm. dropping bombs somewhere later on. So having the mandarin last, I don't know. Not for you. <laughs> no, you know why? Because the skin is so thick. Yeah, the fibrous parts of the orange. And um, I think, you know when you get the canned mandarin, Mm -hmm. and it's already out of the casing and everything. Right. I think that would be a lot more mm -hmm. palatable in a sandwich like this. It's as softer, to this. Yeah. yeah. This was like taking a bite of cream, half of an orange and bread, <laughs> literally. I would think when you're mixing fruits too, I don't know, it happens to me, mm -hmm. when you have different fruits, sometimes some fruits are sweeter than others. Right. And then when you get that fruit that's really sweet and then you get like, let's say the strawberry, mm. it tends to taste sour. Right. Right. And then it doesn't really. Matter. I agree. <laughs> I agree. See, and then you got to get them in season too, because sometimes the fruit is too sour. You're biting into it, and that's when, like, I'm describing it to her where it's like vegetal. It's more of a chore to eat it as opposed to something that's enjoyable. So, but it's healthy. Yeah. Okay. Sands the cream. <laughs> I don't though. know what that is. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a gym on my floor and I look at it every day and it doesn't work for me. Why? Because I'm not using it. <laughs> we'll get you in the gym. <laughs> but this tastes good. <clears throat> if you want to know the prices, um, for my sandwich anyway, my California Sando, which included the crab, avocado, cucumber, was $3.75. That's a single sandwich. Um, so that's technically just half a sandwich. And then the Tonkatsu was a whopping $6 for half a sandwich and not much meat. It is quite expensive, but I think the quality is there. I like the bread. It's really soft. Obviously, it comes from Brug Bakery next door. And um, the tonkatsu was delicious, but like we said, it should have been bigger. a little bit bigger. That was kind of a stingy <clears throat> portion. Um, the strawberry milk, holy crap. <laughs> See, I, I buy things without looking, and they didn't have prices out. That's 
the weird thing right. for the milk, especially. I think that's how they get you. Yeah, it's six seventy-five. Wow. So, so, and I really feel like I was robbed because <laughs> for six seventy-five. Like what the know? frick? Anyway, but um, you want to go over your prices? Um, so for my local egg salad, it was six seventy-five. So it was kind of pricey, but that's for two sandwiches. But come on, guys, it's just boiled egg and mayo, and it wasn't. It didn't have anything extra to it. It was just egg and mayo. Like it didn't really have that much flavoring to it. So it's kind of like a want for me. And I love egg salad. So um, the pit smoked beef. That one was actually one of my favorites. Four fifty. Um, the sandwich. It you know the size. It's Japanese size as far as their sandwiches go. Their their um, typical Japanese sando sando. Um, but I think it's kind of expensive for you know just one sandwich four fifty. it's almost five bucks you might as well give me the second piece yeah it's actually like literally half a sandwich right but i think that one was more of a deal because it had a lot of seemed like it had a thick uh, portion of sliced thick meat portion of meat um there is i don't know if it was um dried onions that were reconstituted yeah it looked or, like those fried onions from right, the french's like can <laughs> I, I can't tell, but they were good. It was just, it was meh. Out of everything that I chose, well, I, I didn't try the the tuna. I'm saving this for Buddha, but out of everything I chose, I think that one was my favorite. And then the fruit one, right? The fruit one, you, I mean, it's a fruit sandwich. It's just cream, fruit, and bread. Like, if you like that kind of stuff, you would enjoy this. Um, Size-wise, I, if I, I know they're doing it for visual, but I, I think if it was just a little bit smaller, it would be easier to eat. And then you could enjoy it a lot better. But, you know, you're trying to figure out the logistics without making a mess and get all the flavors in your mouth at the same time. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Let me take my mic out so we can both be heard. I'll just put it here. I should talk into her chest. I know. Do you know that I hide my mic in my... <laughs> in my <laughs> In my shirt, not her, in my bra, but her dead on, on cat. The, my cat is in my bra. I'm allergic to cats anyway, so <laughs> more than one way. Yeah, so. uh, this is a terrible. <laughs> when we get together, we're terrible. But I hope it entertains you. <laughs> but I feel like we're being really negative. But I mean, for the local anyway, right, right. a lot of locals are a little bit frugal mm. with their money. Um, I, I'm not as much i mean i i think i do my finances fine but right. for somebody you know that is looking for lunch and they don't make that much money to blow on a right. half of a sandwich for 6.75 or um, the other one was what six dollars yeah you're better off making we're it just yourself. trying to be honest we're not trying to bash right and it was delicious i liked all of the things it's just very expensive mm -hmm. and you have to realize i think the mall being in the mall the rent must be horrendous Super high, right right so they're going to charge you an arm and a leg but if you're into japanese sandwiches i think mm. this is a great spot to go to great i think this was one of the better ones i've tried on mm -hmm. the island where else have you tried um i did one the one in kaimuki i forgot what it's called mm -hmm. um but well, I like the, the prices the bread here, about the but, same. Yeah, yeah, that was expensive too. And really? that was in a strip mall too. So mm. their rent probably isn't as much. Right. But the bread um, is definitely better. It's good quality here. bread. It's broad. And so. then the tonkatsu was nice and soft. Mm. I think the other one was a little bit harder to eat. Yeah. Like how you're talking about like a pastrami it's deli. Crispy, like yeah. You're, you got to work for it. And you feel it. like it's in your teeth yep. and stuff. So um, I don't know. Mm. What are your con like, conclusions? Would I go again? Um, if I was really jonesing for it, I mean... Um, like I said, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just trying to be real honest. Um, see, if I'm going to pay this much money for food, I, I expect it to be a certain way. And this, these are like gourmet sandwiches, you know what I mean? So I'm thinking it's going to be an elevated sandwich, not like a sandwich from like ABC. And there are good sandwiches at ABC for less the cost. So Or even 7-Eleven. <laughs> right. Just saying. So, yeah. But I, I'd go again. All right. So, um... Thanks for watching. Um, we're probably gonna get together again a couple more times because yeah. our schedules are kind of driving. Yeah. You know? um, so if you're interested, definitely try Mana Sandwiches in Ala Moana in the Lanai food court upstairs uh, where Shir Kia used to be. It's not in the downstairs one. And get yourself a sandwich if you're interested in tasting these sandwiches. 
and I'll see you again next time. Aloha, and support your mom and pop local businesses, and I'll see you again next week. Like it if you like this video and you found it informative, and subscribe if you're new. Peace out. See you next week. Bye-bye.